It's a big day. Joining us now is Alan Uckman here with a Trader Rundown. We have the FOMC meeting getting underway today, and of course, Apple reports earnings. Let's start with Apple. What's your expectation here? Well, I think the market's optimistic, obviously. It continues to make new all-time highs. Go, go, go. Uh, and they're looking for about a 3.5% measured move, so not expecting a whole lot. That's not saying whether it's going to be up or down, but not looking for a big bounce from earnings. We'll see what happens there. And then, of course, the Fed meeting. Do you think the Fed will... No. Don't, okay. You don't even have to ask a question. There's only a 5% chance. There's a 75 75% chance that the rate hike will happen in June. Focus forward, and there's not more than a 50% chance until we get to December. Now, you also have a trade of the day. What's your trade? I like Brazil. Well, okay. I like Brazil, but all of the global markets have risen. Now, let's put this in perspective. We've got Germany up 10%. We've got the Japanese Nikkei up 10%. Markets around the world. It's not just us. So I'm looking at Brazil. Brazil has lagged behind just here a bit recently. It's up uh, about 3% compared to the S&P up you know, 13% in the last six months. So sure. it's got some catching up to do. It's been trading sideways between 36 and 38. 40 was its recent highs. So a little bit of a, a push here can get it rolling. Now, let's put this in perspective. Okay. 60 is the midpoint of the last eight years or so. On so the EWZ. Yeah, on the e EWZ. So there's a lot more upside potential. I think it's been beaten down a little too much. I'm looking at the January calls, the January 32 call, and it's going to cost about $7. So I've got about nine months of time for good things to happen, and the break-even's $1.50 higher. Thanks for coming on the show. Have a great trading day. Thank you.